it's partisan and if we're talking about winning the title mm, i see at least two things which they must to improve in order to secure the title uh, let's say uh, or at least to put them in the best position to win the euro cup uh, first of all uh, i'm still uh, doubt- doubting their point guard position uh, they needed some time uh, Jelko needed some time to see if uh, Jan uh, Yamadar and uh, uh, Dallas Moore uh, point guard lineup can work and I'm not so sure about that uh, Yamadar is just too young although for me he's a better point guard than Dallas Moore I'm just lacking mm, better decision making uh, from Dallas Moore uh, sit, uh, standpoint and the thing is that when we're talking about all these decisive games and if we're looking for more ways for Partizan to make the EuroLeague and not only the Euro Cup is the way, there's a uh, ABBA Liga, but they're facing probably one of the best defenses in the EuroLeague, uh, Cervena Zvezda. All these great defenses, they have to be beaten with good floor generals, I think. And the way I saw Dallas Moore playing in some decisive moments, it's, it's not on that level. So I heard that they were on the market uh, they're on the market to upgrade the uh, backcourt. Not only they made it a um, good signing for, for the front line, but that's that's the thing uh, they need to improve. And it seems like they also realize that that uh, some change might be necessary. Um, in my opinion, in the Euro Cup, any team with Kevin Punter scoring abilities has a shot at winning it. No, of course, of course. Uh, and I'm Kevin Punter, exactly. They Kevin Punter. Kevin Punter is actually very efficient with his mid-range shots this year, but only twenty-five yeah. percent signature f- pull-up jumper. But only twenty-five percent three-point shooting. He can be better. I he mean, can even be better. He's averaging eighteen points. I can easily see him averaging more than twenty. The best thing about Partizan is that they're already showing a. Nice defense. They have the third best uh, defensive rating in the Euro Cup, but the problem is the their offense. The offensive rating is not that bad. They are sixth yeah. by the offensive rating, but the problem is their three point uh, accuracy. They're making only f- less than thirty three three pointers. Yeah. That's that's really bad. Although they have enough good at least spot up shooters on that but team. Some players are actually not delivering and disappointing, especially Rodion Kurz, for example. Oh, that's a big disappointment. Yeah. A Latvian prospect. He was in the NBA. I think he was signed to play some mm-hmm. good minutes, but he's very... That's a good stretch for... But he's I, ver- f- I very think that he's even making more than 1 million euros, and that's that's crazy. <sighs> Damn. Partizan, they should also improve the, ve- the level of physicality. If you remember, we watched the game uh, Zvezda against Partizan, yeah. and we saw yeah. a huge difference between oh, the yeah. physicality of both teams. I saw some uh, recent gaf- games of Partizan. I still cannot stand watching uh, uh, Alan Smilagic losing a 50-50 uh, ball uh, against Eric McCollum, probably the sh- smallest uh, guy in the Euro Cup, or like the same happened with McCollum. I think he grabbed two offensive rebounds against Partizan, and all these offensive rebounds, second uh, chance situations, they ended up in, in in some crucial points in the end of the game. So that's that's another thing which uh, has to be improved. But what I lo- also like about Partizan that despite all these big uh, signings, big names. Jelko is still a good teacher to all these young, unproven Serbian players. I mean, a lot of names, uh, a lot of these names, they're unproven guys, but they're performing. They're yeah. making a big impact on their teams. For example, Gregor, Gregor uh, Glass, uh, he became a very uh, solid uh, piece uh, at the moment. Also, Balza Koprivica, he impressed uh, lately and he's just doing his job. He's growing his team. The thing with Jelkon and his teams is that usually they need time. If you remember Fenerbahce, the first year they didn't uh, co- uh, they didn't advance uh, from the top 16, for example. His Joventut experience, no, Real Madrid experience also, they, they needed some time. Okay, they won the EuroLeague, but they failed in, in, in Spain, uh, for example. So even all these big coaches, they need time because the empire, they're not built in, in one year. And... Uh, Probably when Jelko was uh, signed by Partizan, when Panther, Lide joined Partizan, the ex- level of expectations were so high that everybody thought that this Partizan will destroy everybody. But the reality is that competition in the Euro Cup is good. This team still needs time to grow, to adjust to their new coach, to adjust to each other. And it will take time. But a lot of good things already happening in Partizan. I, I tried to talk uh, how's, how's the process, how's the growth of, of Partizan. And the most important thing is that Jelko is happy. 
uh, Jelko is happy uh, working in Belgrade at his home. He already mentioned in the interview that every day, uh, every week, he's getting like 10 lunch requests just to meet some friends in Belgrade, just to have some quality lunchtime, quality conversations. He loves working with these uh, young Serbian players. He loves working uh, for Partizan. And it's really important to have your amazing coach uh, happy in that situation. And also uh, with Jelko, usually everybody around, they improve, they get better. Not only players, but the organization fans in general. We had all these lessons from Sharuna Sisikavchus, for example, in Lithuania. The same now is happening in Partizan because with Jelko, there is no bullshit. There's a big uh, focus on improving in all the areas of life and they're, they're getting there. I'm not so sure of this year uh, because, yeah, as I said, competition is huge in the Euro Cup, but they will be really good in, in, in the years to come if they will manage to keep uh, this uh, partisan project with Jelko on the front.